Welcome back. In the last episode, we finished chapter two. So now we're about to head on to the next chunk. We fought the big boss at the end of Phantasma Grand Cell. So sorry, Kevin. I failed as your mother. But I'm so tired. I'm so, so tired. At least this way. At least this way. The two of us can... But anyway, we met the, the Lord of Phantasma, uh, fought the big bad there, it gave us another ceiling stone, which at this point we're assuming has Chloe in it. Um, I feel like they're going to trick us and it's not actually Chloe, but we'll see. I'll probably be unlocking that very shortly here. And now I get more about Kevin's background. That dream again? How long is it going to take before it goes away? It had to happen on Rafina's big day, too. I was hoping I'd be able to stop worrying her when I got older, but at this rate... I'm, pr I'm sure she's plenty used to you worrying her already. Thanks, Reese. Oh, it's you, Reese. Don't scare me like that. How long have you been in here? For a while. We're supposed to be cleaning the chapel today, but you weren't getting up, so I came to check on you. You seem to be having a nightmare, though, so I thought I'd wake you. Oh, okay. Sorry, Reese. I was being a pain for you again, wasn't I? No more than usual. You've been a loser since the day I met you. I don't expect that to change anytime soon. She's so mean! Ouch. Kick a guy while he's down, why don't you? Well, whatever. We don't want to be late for breakfast on Rufina's big day. So let's go and get this done. Alright. Rufina? Oh, she's so pretty. Good morning, you two. I wasn't expecting to see you here this early. Are you on cleaning duty today? Yes, but w what are you doing up so early? You've got a long journey ahead of you. You need plenty of sleep or you're going to be exhausted before you even get there. I mean, isn't Arteria ages away from here? Well, yes. But I won't be able to offer my prayers to Adios here again for quite some time. So I decided to get up early and pray for all the days I'm going to be missing, too. Seriously? That's why? <laughs> That's very you. Are you really going to be that busy, though? I thought you might be able to come home from time to time, at least. I wish I could say otherwise, but I probably will. I've only just become a squire, so there will be plenty of work in store for me. I'll be lucky to find time to sleep, never mind come home. I might be able to squeeze some time into my schedule once I've gotten the hang of the workload, but until then... Okay. And that's why you've got to sleep now while you still can. Come on, you've done enough praying for one day, so go back to bed until breakfast or something. You're so cold to me. Uh, what? How? I thought you'd want to make the most of the time you've got left with me, but it's like you don't even want me here. Did I do a bad job at raising you? I, I never said I didn't want you here, and you might have done a lot for me, but raising me is a stretch. It's okay. He's just embarrassed. He's actually more than happy to talk to you. He's just terrible at showing it. Oh, get over yourself. Is that so, Mal? I should have known. You're such a typical boy, Kevin. They all act indifferent to avoid letting their loved ones know just how much they care. And don't forget, he's at that rebellious age, too. How have I managed to survive being twisted around your fingers for so long? Is trying to toy with the hearts of innocent young boys a family thing, or what? <laughs> oh, I'd hardly say young. It's been about five years by now, you know. Ah, speaking of which, I think I'm starting to get a craving for some chocolate. Maybe I should pick some up on the way to the station. Quincy Bell, of course, for obvious reasons. Oh, their new mint chocolate's my current favorite. The fresh aftertaste mixes in with the chocolate's flavor really well. I'll admit, that does sound tempting, but I think I'm more in the mood for the classic milk this time. That flavor will always be a fun little trip down memory lane for me. <laughs> Poor Kevin. <laughs> because of how we met? Kevin, you're disgusting. 
Why? I think we all get that warm and fuzzy feeling when we look back on it. After all, the day you came to live with us, Kevin, was the start of many, many new and wonderful memories. I treasure every single one I've made during these five years. They're all priceless to me. And why did you decide to become a squire and leave us? It just doesn't seem like the right job for you. Even if you wanted to be in the church, couldn't you have become a sister at the chapel in town or something? I'm sorry, Kevin. Apparently I've just got the aptitude for it, or so I've been told. I feel like the best thing I can do is make use of that and try to help people in the best way I can. Of course, there's always the chance I won't be cut out for it at all, and we'll have to come home anyway. There's no way a girl as naive as you is going to be any good with the kind of crazy tough stuff you'd have to do. You better come straight back home once you've had enough. <sighs> really? Well, if it does come to that, I'll be expecting a nice, warm welcome from the two of you. And with that, I believe this conversation has done a lovely job with helping you procrastinate cleaning for long enough. Should I lend a hand? If we're going to do the job, we might as well do it perfectly and have the whole chapel sparkling. Two lights? Hmm. I wonder if the other one could be... See? He gets his own light. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. What just happened? Julia? Did you not leave for a training exercise on board the Arce? I'm so relieved to see you safe, Your Highness. I see Sieg is with you, too. He is, but, um, I'm not quite sure what's going on. What? Long time no see. Hi, Chloe! I, uh, I sure wasn't expecting to run into you here. What are you all doing here? Oh. It's good to see you again, Chloe. And Sieg, too, of course. You two look well. Thank you. I'm not sure what to say. I feel like I should be waking up any moment now, but I'm not sure I even want to. <laughs> oh, happy little scene. <laughs> I see. We found ourselves in quite the predicament, haven't we? I'm relieved to hear that the empty grand cell you found wasn't the real city, at least, but still. Unfortunately, that doesn't necessarily rule out the real capital being in danger. We're dealing with something that has such great power, it can create a flawless replica of a vast city. There's no telling how far its influence could extend. Reese, surely there's no need to worry her so? We have nothing to gain from shying away from the truth. If anything, she's helping me better understand the gravity of the situation we're in. I'd like to help with the investigation if I can. I'm not sure I could do much more than what you're already doing, but I won't drag you down. But, your highness... I'm sorry, Julia, but I'm afraid nothing you say can change my mind. I may not fully understand the situation we're in, but I do know that it threatens the safety of our capital, perhaps the whole nation. I'd be a disgrace as a crown princess if I were to just stand by and do nothing while the people I will one day rule over are threatened. Wow, you're amazing, Chloe. As you wish, your highness. Well, welcome to the team. Great, I'll do what I can. So is our next destination that teleportation circle at the end of the sealed area? Yeah, that should let us travel to the next area. Or, by the sounds of it, to the next plane. Yeah. That appears to be the technical name for the various areas that make up the land we're in. It's a concept used in the Septian Church, too. Our world is made up of a number of planes, or realms, situated on top of one another. At the top is the sky where the goddess dwells. Below that is the earth we 
where we live, and at the bottom lies Gehenna, where sinners are judged. Those are the main three, but in between them, there are countless other planes or realms too. Hmm. So, in other words, the farther down we descend, the less the blessings of the goddess will be able to reach us? Hey, can you not say stuff like that? With all the creepy monsters roaming around, it's freaky enough around here as it is. You sound like a child who's afraid to walk around the house when the lights are off. Although I suppose that does make sense, given that you truly are a child. I am so not a child. Yeah. Anyway, if that fake Grand Cell was the second plane, the next one's the third, right? I mean, it sounds obvious, but I'm not sure it's all going in one clear direction, or if we might run into a fork at some point. I think straightforward is a safe enough assumption to make for now. And while we might not know what that Lord of Phantasma wants with us, we know it's nothing good. So even if it's not like that, that doesn't change how ugly this could get. So let's get ready for just about anything. Who knows what's waiting for us up ahead? Hmm? Something wrong, Reese? If you think you find a figure something out, the rest of the class would love to hear about it. No, it's nothing important. You're right, we should start getting ready to leave. It may be worth our while to investigate some of the doors we've encountered thus far, too. Yeah, I don't know what's up with those things, but there sure are a ton of them. At the very least, they don't seem to have been placed by any of our foes. I'm all in favor of investigating them, too. I don't think I can right now. I don't think there's any others I can do. I kind of wish I could swap out Reese for Chloe. So I want Chloe, but I want her for her healing and arts. So I don't really want to swap out Joshua or Julia, because they're my good attackers. Uh, how do I set up my support people again? I don't remember how to pick my support person. So I don't know if I want it to still be um, Tita or if I want to switch it. I still don't have anything better. I just finished writing my diary before settling down to sleep when I took a glance out the window. When I did, I saw a bright light. And next, all I could see was white. Oh yeah, Grinsaw Castle's right next to the port, isn't it? Yes. So judging by all I've heard, it sounds as though the first light I saw was the cube activating. And then I was drawn in here with everyone else. If only I had known what was going to happen, perhaps I would have been able to do something after seeing the first light. That's... well... Let's look at the positives. We're never gonna run out of food or water or anything while we're here, right? I'll pitch in with the cooking too, so don't worry so much, okay? In that case, perhaps we could cook together later? I'm not a bad chef, if I do say so myself. Besides, I think it'd be easier to calm down if I could take my mind off things. Oh, sure thing. You know what? Yeah, I'd be totally up for that. 
Considering we're always traveling using warps in the cube, it's hard to be sure. But it does feel like every time we arrive at a new plane, we're moving farther and farther downward. It makes me wonder what's at the bottom of Phantasma. It's clear the Lord of Phantasma is not a foe to be underestimated. Unfortunately, we just don't have enough information to try and work out who they really are. If only we had more clues to go on. Uh, Chloe is the crown princess of Liberal, right? Maybe it's just me, but it's kind of sort of maybe a bad idea to lock someone like that in one of these ceiling stones, right? That Lord of Phantasma should get the death penalty when we catch him. Okay. So, Tita plus something. Shira. Guardian of the Royal Family and Blade that serves the Imperial House. That one I still don't know. Because it- I don't know, it could be either Julia or Vander. But I don't know what the Blade is. I have battle. I need to check how many I've done so far. Both with the eyes of Amber and the Princess with an Indomitable Will. Okay, so that one I can do now. Because that's Joshua and Chloe. This one, Estelle, Fists of Steel, Zin. Um. Well, I've done over a hundred battles. Oh, okay, because that counts ones that I fled, too. I was wondering, like, how have I done 111 battles and only had 83 victories? Like, that's just wrong. Monuments for variety of functions, monuments for sorry, EP. Chosen reserve member back in the garden, each one with the first different ability. Okay, so how do I. Do I have to actually go to this? Aha! HP recovery and CP recovery. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I want Chloe for support. Okay. Um, so there's still no new weapons, still not upgraded quartz. I switched out my support member for Chloe. I can do one of the doors. I'm not going to do it right now just because we're already a decent chunk into this episode. It'll be the next one probably. We'll go through and do that star door with Joshua and Chloe. Um, so I think for right now... We will go on to the next plane and see what that's about, because there will be a little cutscene. Alright, where's it going to take us to next? Well, this should take us to the third plane. Funny how this warp ended up being the exact spot that device to seal the Oriole was in the real world. Device? Are you referring to the first barrier mentioned in that report? Yeah, the one designed to temporarily freeze it in another dimensional space. Although unfortunately for the guys who pulled it off, it looks like even that wasn't enough to stop the Gospels being able to influence it. I see. We still don't know what happened to the Oriole either. There seem to be many who think that the library arc collapsing means that the Oriole itself is no more too. Which is possible, I suppose. All we really know is that judging by how shaken Weissman was, Something unexpected happened. Beyond that, nothing. 
I imagine the only way to ascertain the truth of what happened will be to capture Weissman and get the answer from him. Although I can't even imagine where he is or what he must be doing now. What? But the report said quite clearly, no one in the church is sure what happened to him either. It's still being looked into. Still, I think it's fairly safe to say that Weissman isn't involved in what's happening right here. If he were, I'm sure he'd be openly reveling every... Yeah, reveling every second of this. You all know what kind of guy he is. That's true. He doesn't have anything to gain by wearing a mask like that, I suppose. We've got way too many unanswered questions at this point. All we can do is keep looking for answers. The less we know, the more we have to be on guard, though, so we'd best be careful. Right, Reese? I suppose so. She knows the truth, they don't, and Kevin doesn't want to tell them. This is kind of like the first plane. Where are we now? Something similar to the Jade Corridor by the look of it. Kevin, over there. Golden and Silver Roads. Okay. I like this music. A Golden and Silver Gate? Well, this is foreboding. Again? Oh, that ghost we saw in Grand Cell. Visitors from afar. Bearers of the Grail Emblem. Can you hear me? Y yeah we can! Before you stands the entrances to the Twin Corridors. Proceed through them both in sync, or never shall you reach the dark depths beyond. I have to do both at the same time, apparently. I entrust their operation to the monument before you. Step forth into the corridors, the power of the grail with you, and move onward. But beware. Once you have stepped through the doors, the trial must be complete. Okay. Well, that's one question answered. That voice we've been hearing all this time was hers. Although now the next question is, who is she anyway? Hmm. Whoever she is, she gave us some valuable advice on how to proceed. Step forth into the corridors, the power of the grail with you, and move onward. And I say we take her up on that advice. Moving in sync means we're going to have to split up though. Or more like Reese and I have to each take a door at the same time, while you guys tag along with whoever. That's how I took it too. If we don't do it the way she said, I doubt we'll be able to advance. Heh, <laughs> they sure aren't making it easy for us, huh? That means we're going to need to split up us two so that you guys don't go in alone. It's still not the most ideal situation when there are only four of us and things are so dangerous, but it's what we have to do. Why not ask the rest in the garden to help us? That way we can form two groups of four, and that should hopefully be plenty for any challenges up ahead. But. But that voice said that Kevin and I needed to be the ones who stepped through the gates. Sure, but that's all she specified, that you and me needed to go through different ones. She didn't say anything about what these guys have to do, plus there's no telling what's waiting for us on the other side. We could use their help. Alright then, thank you. Not a problem. So what should we do? Should we call everyone here right away? Even if we did, I wouldn't blame them if they wanted some time to prep before heading out. Especially since I've got a hunch that once we go in those gates, there's no going back out. So instead of calling them here, let's go back to them. Then we'll all come here once we feel up to the challenge. The dungeon on this plane requires you to form two parties with Kevin and Reese as their leaders in order to advance. Each of the characters you have at this point will need to be placed in one of these parties. Furthermore, after beginning the dungeon, you won't be able to return to the garden until it is complete. To begin exploring, inspect the monument at the start of the third plane and choose Explore Third Plane. 
So that'll be interesting. But I finally have stronger weapons. We're just gonna buy all of it. So I will have to use just about everybody. Never mind, I don't have enough. Man, this stuff's expensive. Okay, and I finally got some level threes. Okay, so who did I just get equipment for? I don't have nearly enough Mira to do anything. That's gonna be a pain. Okay, so I think... For right now we will go back to... The garden. In the next episode, I think we'll go do that star door with Joshua and Chloe, um, and then we'll try to figure out what the heck to do with this, because I can't buy all the equipment I need to, so I'm going to have to just skimp on some of it, or go grind a bunch of battles, which I may do to get experience in Mira. But we'll see. I know I know what we'll do for the next one, or at least the first part of the next one, and then after that I'll have to figure it out. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you on the next one.